All right. Hey everyone. Rob Wiseguy82 here. And uh, this is going to be my pull list video for November 14th. Uh, I've got a different website here. Uh, this one right here is Fresh Comics. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you like this one better, if there's I mean, I, nothing is going to be more, more clear than the other, but sometimes we have a hard time with uh, actually getting a cover on the other on the other website. So let's just, I'm going to try this one, and uh, just let me know. So, different, uh, they start off with the amount of issues each company has instead of an alphabetical order like the other one. Um, so we start off with Marvel. And uh, I'm definitely, because I'm reading Avengers, so I'll, I'll, I'll probably just get this regular, uh, I'll get this cover. But then I'm also hoping, I think it's a 1 in, it might be a 1 in 100. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. Um, but I told my shop, he just hadn't made up his mind whether how many, how many he was going to order. So that's Avengers 10. I'm going to pick up this uh, Alex Ross for uh, Captain America number five. I'll pick up, I think I like this limb cover. I think it's Max Limb for uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. I think this is the last issue, maybe not. Uh, I like this cover right here for Domino number eight. And that is it says Lim. I, I think this is two artists, and then Gang Hyuk. That's pretty freaking badass, though. And then there's a Mobius cover for Fantastic Four number three. I really hope to be able to get that one. No way I could get the one for. Uh, Man, I'd love to for uh, Return of Wolverine. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh no, what happened? Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so let's see. Do do do. Uh, Black Order number one. I'm gonna pick up this. I probably won't read it, but In Hyuk Lee. Let's see. Oof. It doesn't help us. It just gives us a real up close shot. Alright. Alright. I know that didn't help you guys. That was way too close. Um. Oh. Okay, that was the Black Order. And then Thor number seven pick that up. That's been good. Um, there's a bunch of these Uncanny X-Men number one. I'm not sure what to think about it yet. Um, I don't believe there's a cover that really stands out for me. I think maybe I'll try to get this, uh, I like this one. This Cliff Chang cover is real nice. Maybe I'll try to get that. We'll see. And then Venom number eight. That's a nice one. I don't really like that just because Venom's not even on it. It doesn't really make sense to me. Alright, so Image Comics, Birthright number 33. Awesome book. Uh, I'm not going to. This doesn't look terrible. This uh, bitter root. Just too much. Cemetery Beach. I'm going to try to get this Akira cover swipe. That's been good. Coyotes number eight. This is the last issue. Beautiful cover from uh, Caitlin Yarsky. No, that's the uh, trade paperback. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Gideon Falls. I'll pick up my uh, two covers of that. That's the Jeff Lemire cover. And then the Sorrentino uh, Dave Stewart cover. 
That's a pretty one. <clears throat> Infinite Dark. The first issue was really good. I'll pick up the second one. Andrea Moody does the artwork. Real nice. Um, Murder, uh, Murder Falcon. Second print. I don't think I'm going to pick it up just because it's the exact same. Maybe the, 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 the lettering will be different or something. But no, I'm, I'm alright with that. And I think for number two I'll pick up this heavy metal cover. I like that. Uh, Oblivion Song number nine. I'm still enjoying that. I'm wondering if we'll get any more covers. Maybe there'll be like a little creature on one of those tree things. Um, I think I'll pick up this Reek cover. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I do like that. She's got the heart in her hand. That's pretty badass. Um, Skyward, number eight. Still really enjoying this book. This is a good one. Oh my goodness, and I didn't notice this before, but she took the tomatoes off her burger, I think. And I hate tomatoes, too. Even though I love everything associated with them. Go figure. Beauty, number 25, still going strong, in my opinion. It's a great cover right there from, I think, Jeremy Hahn. Oh, no, 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 no. McDonald and Filardi cover, okay. And then, I'm not going to be, this is a 1 in 25, uh, Jerome Pena for uh, Weatherman number 6. I don't believe I'll be able to get that. Um, there's another one that this is missing, but, so, Weatherman number 6. Alright, so, amazing stuff from uh, DC. I mean, this might... I don't know how he does these covers, man. So this is uh, Art Germ, I think. Yep, Stanley Lau. Oh, my God. Incredible. So obviously Batman right there, rat, interwoven with her. And then you got the whip. Oh, my goodness. That is just gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. And then, of course, we get an amazing Del Auto cover for Detective 992. Oh my goodness, I'll be picking up two of those for sure. Final issue of Mr. Miracle. I'll show you both covers real quick. That's funny. Dark Side is... And then, I don't think I'm going to pick it up, but Yasmin Putri has just been doing a, an amazing job with her covers lately. I love it. That one's awesome. And there's another one, too. But I'll pick up this uh, Matina cover. He's still doing these. Uh, all these have, like, the same motif. Great covers where they look like they're getting blown through a building or something. Oh, shoot. All right. I don't think, because uh, we don't got another David Mack cover for Superman, I don't know what I want to do. Because I do not like that. That does not look good at all. What is wrong with Adam Hughes and not being able to draw male characters? I mean, that's ridiculous. That does not look good at all. I'm sorry. No. 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 <laughs> What is that? That looks kind of nice. Brave and the Bold. Who's that? Liam Sharp? Alright, so let's just keep going here. Oh! Oh! Guys. Would you freaking just look at this? Are you kidding me? You almost gotta shield your eyes from how bright it is right there. That is incredible to me. Oh my goodness. Jenny Frizen. I love you despite you. And that's all I'll say about it because obviously I've been running my mouth. Alright. To each his own, I guess. Uh, go kind of slow. Any manga fans out there, this is Yen Press. The new book's coming out this week. 
And then I'm going to be checking out. Uh, here is. <laughs> look how freaking awesome. Oh my god, look at them. Shibuya Goldfish, number two. Bubblehead Goldfish, oh my goodness. That was awesome. Damn it. <clears throat> Alright. Bunch of other stuff coming out for him. Alright, so then we've got IDW. No. Nothing from them. Okay, now Boom Studio, I think there's a couple things. We've got... <clears throat> I'm definitely going to be able to get this J.G. Jones cover, which is amazing. Oh my goodness. How crazy is that? What the heck has been has Summer Glau been doing lately? I haven't seen her. I feel like the last thing I saw her in was like the Sarah Connor Chronicles and like that episode of Big Bang Theory years ago. What is What the heck is, what has she been doing? She needs to be in everything. She's like the most beautiful woman on the planet. I mean, what are we doing here? All right, anyway, so then I'd also love to get this Jack cover too. That's a good one. The one I'm not going to be able to get, and they don't have it, is the uh, portrait uh, of Nathan Fillion, Mac, uh, by Bill Sienkiewicz. There's uh, The one in 100 is just the, the picture. And then I guess there's a one in 200 that's signed by Joss Whedon. Um, yeah, so. I'll get as many of those as I can. But uh, Firefly number one. Let's just see. I don't... No description. Okay. Well, just in case. Maybe it'll give it to us on a different cover. Okay, here we go. Good. Let's see, Boom Studio along with Visionary Writer, Director Joss Whedon, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer present an all-new era of pop culture phenomenon. Firefly is one of the most uh, most demanded stories in the franchise. History is revealed for the first time. Captain Malcolm Mal, I said Mac, didn't I? Mal. Uh, Reynolds, uh, a defeated soldier who's opposed to unification of the planets by a totalitarian government alliance will undertake any job, legal or not, to be uh, to stay afloat and keep his crew fed. Find out now how his story began as Boom Studio delves into Mal's... Malf's... That's not right. Past. How he met his first mate, Zoe. And the real truth about the War of Unification, the intergalactic civil war that divided friends and family alike. Are you freaking kidding me? Focusing on family loyalty, identity, and the price of redemption from Greg Pak. Oh, God, that doesn't sound like... I mean, what the hell? Oh, there you go, guys. There's the Sienkiewicz cover. But why does this... Why does, why does the story have to sound exactly what is happening right now in the U.S.? We've got idiot family members not speaking to each other because... Uh, uh, of things that can be talked through. It's not like Democrat and Republican is a new thing, guys. We've been able to get along this whole time until the last couple elections. What are we doing here, guys? And now, when we want to get rid of it, uh, when we want to read comics to get away from it, I, I can't even read the description to a first issue without being bombarded with political ideology what are we doing here guys come on it makes me not even want to pick that book up now Jesus unbelievable Titan I don't know about this Life is Strange book let's see if it gives us a description or if it just makes me not want to read it as well yeah, the sequel story fans uh, thought they would never get. See, I don't even know what the uh, the original story is. I know it's a game, but... All right, so we'll leave that there. Nothing else that I'm getting from Titan. Uh, some Dark Horse. Uh, I'll be picking up this David Mack cover for American Gods, My Ansel. 
Uh, I'm not going to get this right away, but uh, I've got the first four volumes of uh, Blade of the Immortal. This is volume seven. So I'm a few behind on that. And these are the big, uh, big nice omnibus editions. Uh, I don't think I'll pick it up, but there's a God of War miniseries, four issue miniseries. That's number one. It looks like it takes place during the last game with his son. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get this right away, but I will eventually. This is the first library edition for Harrow County. Look at that. Tyler Crook, man. He is amazing. So then the next one I'm going to look at is just... So this is Joe Gollum number three. But I'm solely looking at this cover. This is... And it totally reminds me of Tyler Crook. So David Palumbo. Just look at this cover. Let me see if... Hold on a second. Oh my goodness, guys. Would you freaking look at this. I mean... Oh my god, look at that. Look at the detail in the tree. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to get this one just for the, uh, just for that, uh, cover art. Uh, another one I'm excited about, local comic shop day. When the hell is that coming up? Am I tripping? Is that coming up, like, right now? Uh, so this right here is from the uh, screenplay, uh, unproduced screenplay of Aliens 3 by William Gibson. I'm excited about this one. And this cover looks cool too with just the egg right there. I hadn't seen this one, but I saw this one and the other one. Uh, what are we looking like on time? And there's a lot. Official adaptation of the screenplay for Aliens 3 after a deadly events of the, f uh, of the film Aliens, a spaceship, Sulaco. Sulaco carries the sleeping bodies of Ripley, Hicks, Newton, Bishop. Are intercepted by the Union of Progressive Peoples. Oh my god. I didn't notice that. What the UP... Is that real? I mean, that can't be... There's no... Is it just coincidence that it's progressive peoples? Or am I just... Do I just have my political blinders on? What the UPP forces don't expect is another deadly passenger that is about to unleash chaos between two governmental titans intent on developing the ultimate Cold War weapon of mass destruction. Based on the original screenplay by New Romancer's William Gibson. Very excited about that. All right, I'm gonna get this. Uh, the first two issues I've enjoyed of uh, James Bond Origin, and this is a really cool uh, old, old, old pop, uh, propaganda poster. Looks good. I like that. Nothing from Action Lab for me this week. Uh, some more books from Seven Seas for manga fans. I'll go over it slowly if there's something that you see. I might check this out. Wonderland. I always like uh, Alice in Wonderland stories, so maybe I'll check that out sometime. Kodansha. There's the new uh, Battle Angel Alita hardcover movie tie-in. Uh, I get this right here. Uh, Neko Gahara, Stray Cat Samurai. That's awesome. I have, I've got the first three, I believe. I don't have four or five. This is five. So I'll be getting that sometime soon. Uh, we've got a new Bloodshot, Rising Spirit from Valiant. And, uh, you know, no matter how the story goes, I'll pick up this David Mack cover. But then I should be able to get this Felipe Masafara cover. Uh, and I believe this is just the, the regular cover A. Um... But he's been doing the other ones, and they are crazy hard to find for not $200. Uh, Aspen Comics. I really enjoyed this first issue of Artifact 1. I like that style right there. I'm not sure which cover I want now. 
but the uh, little twist at the very last page, I, I enjoyed the whole story, but the, that twist was kind of like the, the icing on the cake. That was really nice for uh, to make me definitely want the second issue. Uh, 1 in 12 variant for Fathom. This is uh, Sia Um. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one this week, but the one for either... Well, it got to be next month. Uh, I believe I'll be able to get, and it's a it's a it's an up close of uh, character's face, and and Seum just 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 does an incredible job with that. Uh, Viz Media's got a few. If you guys are interested in, I'll go slow over that. If you guys want to see those, obviously you can just see the name. I'm not going to click on them or anything. Uh, Lion Forge. We've got another vo uh, another issue of. Voltron Legendary Defender. I think this is the last one for Volume 3. Kind of like that one right there. We'll see which one I'm able to get. Usually I have to... I don't have a choice with those covers. Uh, we've got Dark Arc number 11. This series has been fantastic. But I think I'm going to get this cover right here by Mike Ruth. I don't know. I like it though. That's a good one. And then, I think we're coming down to it. Um, I'm going to try to get this if they've got it. This is the second print of Frendo. This is the cover swipe to, I believe, I forget which Daredevil it is. Uh, but obviously you can see Man Without Rules, so it's the Man Without Fear. Uh, Daredevil cover swipe. Daredevil cover swipe. Uh, some trade paperbacks for Alterna. These are the uh, $1.50 issues. Um, they're 10 bucks for the volume, so they're a little bit more. I'm interested to find out how the, uh, the paper quality of that is. Oni Press, Shadow Road number 5. This is Colin Bunn been really good so far. Tokyo Pop. Mm. I will be getting this right here. This is number five of Zero's Journey. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. And then... I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm done with this House of Whispers. I don't think I'm going to pick up this number three. I don't know how much that's going to affect the rest of the story so uh, I'm gonna inquire about it and uh, this has been my least favorite of the four that we've gotten um, so we'll see I I did like uh, Lucifer number one um, we'll see so I just read this uh, this is Captain Ginger this is number two I just read number one and I gotta tell you guys I kind of freaking loved it um, I'm a cat person, but, uh, yeah, I'll show you. let's see. This is number one. My favorite thing is the, uh, Mr. Bigglesworth cat. So this is Science Cat. And then it's just, <laughs> I don't know, guys, it was really fun. Uh, love to find out, you know, what happened to, to all the feeders. That's what they call the humans. Uh, I also just read... Uh, Animosity Evolution number 8 this is still really good and then I read this is a uh, source point this is uh, kind of like a prestige format but uh, made up zombie clown circus um, kind of ended abruptly but it's all the artwork is this like, gritty watercolor that's on the cover and I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, maybe not the most original story, but it, it was $6.99 and I have no regrets whatsoever. Uh, another source point I'm going to read when I finish this video. This is The Family Graves number two. First issue was really good. Um, I do have a problem with Mark Wade also enjoying it. But half of the time I feel like when they do little blurbs for this, they don't even read the book. So... 
fuck Mark Wade and anybody who thinks that he's doing the right thing. All right? Fuck you. If you think he's the one in the right here, then you have no idea what you're talking about and you've never watched one of Diversity in Comics videos. And I'll just leave it at that. Ah, another good one. Got a second print for rags. Uh, I picked up the uh, number two. I was able to get the regular cover and that silver cover. So very excited about that. Those are going crazy. Uh, I was able to get them for cover price plus 20% off. That silver cover is $9.99 cover price. I got it for 8 bucks. Uh, very happy about that because those are going crazy. Um, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ah, there it is. Uh, Family Graves number 3. I think this is four or five issues total I think we are about done okay yep so that's going to be it guys let me know what you think I'm pretty sure they had everything that I was looking for so yeah let me know guys and uh, we'll leave it at that still a really long video I guess I just with reading the, uh, you know, if there's a number one with reading it and going back and forth, I guess I just can't make these videos any shorter. So, if you got a problem with that, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Peace, love, and comics, and I'll see you guys soon. God bless.